almost upon us. And this has been a plague on... Has this been longer than 10 years? I think it's just the last 10 years this has really become a plague. It's always existed. A little, But yeah. it's gotten way worse yeah. the last 10 years. Like, it's always been a thing, but it's... Yeah, it's got... Hooker Ween has really gotten way, way Hooker worse. Hooker Ween. And, and you've all seen it. You all know it. You Maybe. guys have seen Mean Girls, right? Yeah. Like, Halloween is the one day a year when a girl can dress like a total slut and nobody gets to say anything about it. The hardcore girls just wear lingerie and some form of animal ears. Yes, that's a direct quote. Shut up. Don't fucking judge me. That I know. No, I know that, that that it's it's sad because it's true. Yeah. Tina Fey knows her shit. Now, except except in terms of whether or not, you know, women obviously can dress any damn way they want if they so choose that doesn't exactly mean it's good it looks or good it's not gonna look terrible and make you freeze your ass off or it's not going to have some weird bizarre implications because i'm going to be showing you we're going through a uh, top 10 of the worst costume that you sent in to me and the reason these are the worst is because each of these costumes you see, understand it exists because someone somewhere wanted to fuck it. And that might sound like, well, okay, but as we get into this, you're going to get more and more dismayed, as I am, by this. So let's get started with number 10 here, and I'll send this on to Tara. Um, like I was saying at the beginning, my childhood, starting off with a bang. Number 10, sexy Optimus Prime. And it even says, yeah. I shit you not, sexy right there in the name of the Most item. Most of them do. Most of them either say sexy or if they're trying to be classy, they say sassy. Sexy Optimus Prime. Because when I think sexy... I think a robot turns into a truck. Nothing gets me going like a robot that turns into a fucking truck. I think you turned into a robot there for a second. The Skype is acting way up on you. Really? Yeah. Well, that was good timing. Yeah, it was. <laughs> Damn it, Skype. Stop being you. You're awful, Skype. Anyway. So, yeah, it's... it's, it's Really? Someone somewhere wants to stick their dick in Optimus Prime. See, I told her it would happen. Tara, buy that. No. Optimus Prime. Someone wants to have sex with Optimus Prime. Someone somewhere thought, hey, Optimus Prime with boobs. That's my bag, baby. I suppose that would be the headlights. Oh, really? Really? Do you know, you know what, you know, there's one thing that a chick could do wearing this costume to make me totally fucking respect her. Uh-huh. And that is hang a pair of truck nuts off the bottom of it. Truck nuts, ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Little irony like, there. You know what, that's kind of awesome, okay. Damn you, Skype. I'm going to keep on going. Skype is being a pain, but we're just going to keep rolling on. All right, this next one, this, this comes a little bit of explanation. Because a lot of these costumes originated in one place. It's a site called Yandy. And they had a little problem with Sesame Street recently. Sesame Street has, believe it or not, a licensed sexy Big Bird costume. There was actually is, a girl that came into my store wearing it last Halloween. Which is, compared to the non-licensed one relatively tame it's basically just a fuzzy dress with a little big bird hat yeah. and the socks and the googly eyes on it it's a you know yeah. however yandy was selling their super fuck me big bird outfit as the licensed one and children's television workshop went oh hell no we'll tell you what sexy big bird looks like but we're not doing big bird because that my friends would be too easy no no this one, this one is something close. 
This was another one they were offering as a sexy Muppet, but they had to rename it recently. And let's see if you can guess what this is supposed to be, because if you can, I'll be amazed. Well, the accessory kind of gives it away. Yeah, they're they're titling it as the faux fur and mesh blue dress set. But what this was titled a few days ago was Sexy Cookie Monster. I don't really know what that has to do with Cookie Monster. That is not Cookie Monster! For one thing. Cookie Monster wasn't really big on the bare midriff. What would having the cookie butt on? For another thing. This is a costume? Because this just looks kind of like a really skanky dress. A lot of Yandy costumes are just really skanky dresses. Yeah, it's it just looks like it's in, in really bad taste is all. That's it. Does it come with the cookie? Probably not. No, headband and probably... cookie. You have to buy the cookie. Headband and cookie not included. You have to supply your own cookie. So it's just a blue sheer dress. That sounded dirtier than I meant it to. Nookie monster. Oh, I hate you. I hate you all. Oh my god. Now I wish I had it uh, uh, to get to you to play. Someone did, I'm sure you've already heard it. Someone did a parody of Limp Bizkit's Nookie. Yeah, I did Cookie it monster. all for the cookie. I yeah. did it all for the cookie. So again, this costume came into existence because someone, somewhere, thought there was a market for people who want to fuck Cookie Monster. There is. And I'll tell you what it is. It's the feeders. You know about feeders, right? No. no. You don't know about the fetish? Okay. So, there's, there's, there's a fetish. It's a two-sided fetish. You gotta, you gotta match up the parts. But there are people that get off on being fed ridiculous amounts of food and made fat. And there are people that get off on feeding someone ridiculous amounts of food and making them fat. This is the thing. How the do you know this? I don't know how I know this. How do I know any of the crap I know? I don't remember where I learned about it. I just know that I know it. And those are the people on a fuck cookie monster while he feeds them cookies. Or while they feed him cookies, whichever way he's playing. Well, this one kind of... I, I added this one as a tie for the Cookie Monster one, because, okay, I'll, I'll buy that, maybe, as an explanation. I'm so horrified right now. How the fuck do you explain... Where? How the fuck do you explain this? Yeah. I can explain it. Sexy Bert and Sexy Ernie. Which... If you look closely at these costumes, they look like these two women have skinned Bert and Ernie and are wearing their corpses a la Hannibal Lecter. Kind of, yeah. How but is see, that? The thing is, how, how long have people said that Bert and Ernie are gay? Right. This is just taking it to the natural conclusion of let's make Bert and Ernie hot lesbians. Yeah. I I just I I swear to God, it mean that someone in the if there if there ends up being fan fiction about me being a feeder, I will find you and I will kill you. you All Liam Neeson and shit. I'm not sure they got that threat because you sound like Wayne fucking with the guy at the at the uh Donut shop in Wayne's World, on the on the loudspeaker. It it uh, it 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 did it that did it. I will find you and I will kill you. Okay, there the you way go. you will not enjoy. There's a way to enjoy. Never mind. I don't want to know. So yes, there is a market for people who apparently either want to fuck Bert and Ernie. <laughs> no, they just want to watch Bert and Ernie fuck each other, but have tips when they do it. Or. Potentially a market for people who want to hollow out Bert and Ernie. And <laughs> wear their skin. I want to wear your skull like a little hat. 
Well, here's our, our next awfulness. Oh, where'd it go? All right, I'll have to type, because this stupid site. Um, this might not come up with you, but, uh, this is not something I associate with being sexy. In fact, this entire film strikes me as the opposite of sexy quite deliberately. But that didn't stop people from coming up with a sexy clockwork orange costume. Doesn't a woman get beaten to death with a giant dick in that movie? And raped. And raped. Let's let's not skip that horrible note. Oh, like a woman gets beaten to death by a dick this big. Yep. In that movie. I think yep. that's the only part I've seen. I'm going to read you the product description. You'll have the eyes of all the Chelovex on you with this Halloween when you go out in this sexy clockwork costume. The white polyester cotton dress features a low neckline and fits under the matching corset, which zips up on the side. You'll be ready for a night of ultraviolence with this sexy woman's clockwork costume. It's like that guy on The Price is Right reading about the showcase showdowns. <laughs> Only horrible. I don't think in our culture it blames women for getting raped based on what they're wearing. I don't think you want to encourage a night of ultra violence. No, you do not. No, I mean I don't buy into that. I think you know I could go out wearing Lady Gaga's caution tape outfit, and you don't get right, you don't get to rape me, but. There are people that do think that, so let's not encourage them. Yeah. Also, if you're turned on by that movie, get help. Mm -hmm. Oh, God, get help. Not the point. Not the fucking point of that movie. But moving right along... Mike informs me that there's also a fetish for sexy ultraviolence, which surprises me none. Next on the list of things that you shouldn't want to fuck, but someone does. I swear to God, that's the whole... Uh, here we are. Yeah, that's not okay. Adult sexy Chucky costume. Not Bride of Chucky. Not Bride of Chucky. Chucky. Which, after having... In I've talked to Brad Dorif. Nice guy. A little off. Nice guy. I don't think he ever foresaw this as the result of his voice efforts. Does he do the voice of Chucky? Yeah. Man, he's just every creepy motherfucker in every genre movie ever, isn't he? Yeah, kind of. He's like a professional creepy motherfucker. Nice guy, though. Real nice guy. Hmm. But yeah, it it if you're watching Child's Play. Little Demon Doll. And. You want. To put. Yeah. <laughs> There's no helping you, man. There's not. Because at that point, there's, there's not. It that also makes a good point. This isn't really a costume. Like, I could probably buy that t-shirt at Old Navy if I bought it two sizes too small. And, I mean... I are there holes? Them. Wait, wait, wait. Are there holes in that? Yeah, there are. There are holes. See-through hole. Oh, God, for fuck's sake. Yeah. Look that's real close, kids. There, there's holes in the dress and the cover. Oh, for fuck's sake. There's a close-up of the holes. You can click on a close-up of the holes. I don't want to. Well, they might actually be spots now that I'm looking at the close-up. Okay, up. okay they're good. Like, they're like flesh-colored spots. Of course, here's another close-up you can get. Everybody happy out there? There you go. Hey, just uh, if you're getting turned on right now, understand you're getting turned on by a woman dressed up like the Chucky doll. Yeah. You should be sad. Here's another thing I don't think of in the slightest way. Shape See, they're charging $40 for that piece of shit. 
I don't understand how in the slightest way, shape, or form this could be considered sexy. I really don't. This is, this takes some work, man. No, see, this one to me, what's worse is... No, 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 the next one I'm talking about, the one coming up. Oh, okay. This one's gonna, this takes some fucking work. I think this is the first time I've seen someone try to fuck a meme. <laughs> it's titled It's titled Black Fur Dress, but the 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 description reads Honey Badger don't care. Honey Badger don't give a shit. It just take what it wants. A halter dress with a black fur. It doesn't doesn't justify that at all. It just describes the costume from there. And it doesn't really even look like a badger. It looks like it looks like a really deformed skunk. It's a bad costume. Yes, it is. It is by all means a bad. Co- and here's an. And okay. honestly, you take the hat off of her. It's just a Britney Spears video. Gentlemen, and I, I, I don't. There are no ladies. No ladies fall into this category. Gentlemen, if you are watching the Honey Badger video. And you feel your little soldier starting to stand at attention. You got problems, man. That you got pro- or you're in middle school, unfortunately, because that that you can't really help it. Sorry, guys, but. Otherwise, you got problems. This is just saying. Yeah, I was going to say the Chucky one, the one that really gets me the sexy Freddy Krueger. Yeah, because that's not only a sexy horror movie bad guy it's a sexy child molester yeah there's a sexy version of a horror movie child molester so that's like extra fucked like that's just the cherry on top of the fuck sunday that one (laughs) they're like sexy mother face now which seems like an oxymoron anyway but this next one again my childhood also why Sexy Mrs. Potato Head. And apparently the model is Tammy Faye Baker. (laughs) See, this one just annoys me because I feel like I'm apparently becoming completely unintelligible. What? Exactly. I can't understand me. No, you're, yeah, you're blank. I'm trying to tell you, you try and reconnect again. Okay. How's that? Your video's not coming back. Just yeah. end it and start it. Yeah, start, start it again. There. Okay, now I can hear you again. I haven't said anything yet. Well, I can hear the background. No, it's falling out. There's something wrong with your internet connection, woman. I don't understand why it only started that because we got through the rest of the stuff. It it only started when we started doing the costume. Maybe we can't do more than like 40 minutes. I don't know. But yeah. My problem with this costume is if you're going to be sexy Mrs. Potato Head, the part should be removable so that you can encourage people to feel you up all night and rearrange them. Just yeah, you're kind of in for a penny, in for a pound. You might as well exactly. just. Also, notice the location of Mrs. Potato Head's lips. Subtle. Mm. Well, and the eyes. Yeah. Someone really wants Mrs. Potato Head that bad. Someone Apparently. Who, but I'm saying, how do you miss that opportunity to make the sexy business potato head and not make the parts <laughs> rearrangeable? I mean, come on, you're just that's just lazy. I love you, dear. Forest trees. It's just <laughs> lazy design. And honestly, that doesn't even look like Mrs. Potato Head. It just looks like a really shitty cartoon based on a dress. A lot of these ones are are notably shitty. I'll put that out. Okay, as if these weren't offensive enough. 
Next one on our list here is is this is not comes in at number four in case you were keeping track. Um, this one is offensive on multiple levels. And also it's from Yandy. So, you know, it's awful. Oh, my Indian warrior costume being worn by the blondest blue eyedest bitch you ever did see. Well, that's what Pocahontas looks like. Everybody knows that. And I will point out, I'm going to highlight this shit. Indian warrior costume. It's not okay to say that anymore. Unless you're making a sexy warrior from India, which would still be wrong, but less wrong. You betrayed Shiva. Sorry, I'll stop now. Um, Indy, cover your heart. Cover your ass, Indy. Indy, cover your ass. Yeah, I also don't think uh, Native American warriors would dress quite like this. No, because number one, not very practical, is it? Yeah, it doesn't look terribly functional. And I think the spike heels would be a problem running into battle. Did, were the, were, am, correct me if I'm wrong, was it the Sioux or the Cherokee who perfected the spike heel? I forget. I don't know. I think it might have actually been the Iroquois. Maybe it was the Iroquois. The fi- oh no, this is this is supposedly a five-piece Cherokee warrior costume. Oh, well, there we go. Glad they specified and cleared that up for us. I'm. What, uh, makes, it, what makes it Cherokee as opposed to say Blackfoot or Lakota? Okay. I wonder. The Cherokee blood I do possess is so watered down it might as well be day old Pepsi. To be fair, however. Even what little little heritage I have is kind of offended by this shit. Yeah, that's just. Here's how it goes. We come here. We take their land. Then hundreds of years later, we do this to them. Stop it. Leave them the trail of tears. We've done enough. Knock the shit off. Jesus Christ. All right. I, I have the, the number three here is not, not so much offensive, just baffling, just utterly. And this is the perfect setup. I have no other way to introduce this one. I apologize in advance. Gentlemen, behold. Corn. <laughs> what? Oh, but they have a whole series of these on the website. Like, I found the sexy orange slice. The sexy lime slice. Corn? But yeah. If anything, just given the shape, that would be sexier to women, I would think. You know, a fruit slice is associated with alcohol, so I can kind of, kind of get that. But corn? It's corn! (laughs) <laughs> well, that rhymes with porn. You know what? It would take a lot of goddamn effort to stick your dick in corn. Yeah, I'm sure it's not impossible. That's not. That's not the way you would use. No, corn that's not situation. the way you would. They don't. Use. They don't call it cornholing. No, they don't. Itch. No, they don't. Is that what you really want to be thinking about? Is Just saying. Someone really want. Okay, understand, if you wear this dress, if you wear this outfit for Halloween, you are encouraging someone to be attracted to you on the basis that they want you to stick something up their butt. Or and they, I don't mean genitals. I don't mean, you know, whatever sort of intercourse. I mean something. Or you're... Not attached to them. Or you're just going out with your friend, the Indian warrior, and needed a matching costume. I I will give the lady one thing. You gotta admire that she's she's just keeping it up. She's got the moxie on her. Look she at her. She's selling it. She's like she is like fuck yeah, I'm an ear of corn. You put it's me the in hottest a, ear of corn you've ever seen. Goddamn right, because you know that that is that is commitment. You put her in a fucking it's. Uh, and honestly, that dress should like you should be able to chuck it, not fuck it. 
stuck it. Hmm. Now, this next one is just um, prepare to be sick. Prepare to be ill, because it, we were just talking about the, 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 the uh, this mentality that how women dress justifies violence against them. And and, you know, it's it's this the, if you dress a certain way, you deserve what happens because you were asking for it. What did you or if you think, well, I don't say that if you think if you ever say, what did you think was going to happen? Well, this next costume just sort of cuts out the fucking middleman. Is it a sexy bottle of rupees? No. It's a sexy body bag. That's a body bag? It's Jane Doe DOA body bag adult costume. I don't see how that's a body bag. See the zipper up the front and the hood and the... It's a dress with a zipper on it. Well, I'm they're, confused. They're calling you couldn't, it... You couldn't transport a body in that. <laughs> Maybe a little one. Bitch would fall off. Maybe a real little one. Jane Doe DOA body bag adult costume. Now, two people you're trying to attract if you go out in this costume. Number one, someone thinking, hey, I can skip a step. Or number two, necrophiliacs. Take your pick. Or really big Dexter fans. Like I said. <laughs> Take your pick. CSI, my pants. <laughs> CSI, okay, that is pretty good. CSI, my pants. Yeah! Sorry, I'll stop. I'll stop. <laughs> um, we have an honorable mention here, not because it's so much sexy. Just in the course of doing this research, I found this costume. And this one is straight up, what the fuck? I am I am baffled. I am not horrified so much as baffled. Leave it to China to baffle me. Scooby Doo adult mascot costume, Halloween Christmas mascot costume, <laughs> Christmas adult cost cartoon, fancy sexy dress kids party cosplay. Wow. That's descriptive. <laughs> and to top it off. Motherfucker! That's not Scooby Doo. Does this look like Scooby Doo to you? No, it that's doesn't. that shit's not Scooby Doo. I don't even think that's a dog. I don't know what that is. <laughs> How did the word sexy get in here? <laughs> well. Okay. Okay. Yes. Yes. I understand. It's got a fursuit hint to it. Yes, there are furries. That's However, similar. it also adds. You. It also what adds. You? It also adds Christmas and kids party. What's Christmassy about that? Maybe it's also a reindeer. And sexy. I mean, it kind of just is indiscriminate. Okay, who, who do, who's brown animal? So it could be any animal you want, any mammal with brown fur. Merit wins Scooby Dooby Doe. Scooby Dooby Doe. But finally tonight, this is the one that is completely inexcusable, and it appears to be a women's costume, no less. And it is. Holy Lord God, have mercy. We're all going to hell just for looking at this. Also, note how fucking expensive this is $60. Inflatable King Dong penis costume black. And it is unisex. So men, women... Your equal opportunity offensive here. That is so not okay. No, it's not okay. Although, you throw a Santa hat on that, and it's Mr. Hangy. That's the other problem. Yes, yeah, the other problem, but... Oh, God! But that's so not okay. 
For <laughs> so many reasons. I I just And the model looks so evil and why is he making claws with his hands? <laughs> I understand you're dressed like a black phallus, but you're not actually Lady Gaga backup dancer. Someone somewhere thought this was a great idea. They thought this was a winner. Giant black penis costume chiching. And he's in blackface on top of it. And He's in blackface. So it's on. vulgar and racist all at the same time. Oh, you guys want a better look? I'll give you a bigger picture here. Get a real good look at that fucking thing. And you look like Mr. Hanky the Christmas Pooh. Drink it in, kids. It's a grown man in blackface dressed like a giant black penis. <laughs> I'm thinking it didn't go in his modeling portfolio. <laughs> I'm thinking this isn't in the book that he brings to, like, Vogue. No, 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 it's not. That's... Ladies and gentlemen, we have a winner. <laughs> That's just so many kinds of wrong. And I think I can safely say it this Halloween, please don't be a dick. Please don't be a dick this Don't Halloween. be a dick this Halloween. <laughs> J Cat, I miss sexy core. <laughs> Can we have the sexy corn back? Remember the good old days when it was just sexy corn? Yeah. The days, days of sexy Optimus Prime. Read the description. Um. Right, let's see. Snazaroo face paint. Four double A batteries. Does it vibrate? 